हेलो स्टूडेंट्स स्टैंडर्ड फिफ्थ सब्जेक्ट मैथमेटिक्स चैप्टर फाइव फ्रैक्शंस स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल लर्न एडिशन एंड सब्ट्रैक्शन ऑफ फ्रैक्शंस नाउ द फर्स्ट टॉपिक इज एडिशन ऑफ लाइक फ्रैक्शंस एग्जांपल वन क्वेश्चन इज थ्री अपॉन सेवन प्लस टू अपॉन सेवन नाउ स्टूडेंट्स Let's understand the example by this figure. This strip is divided into seven equal parts, and the part with one color is three upon seven, and the other color is two upon seven. So, how many total colored part shown by the fraction is five upon seven? It means three upon seven plus two upon seven is equal to. How do we add the both the fractions? So first we write denominator as it is and add addition with numerators. So three plus two upon seven is equal to five upon seven. When adding like fractions, we add the numerators of the two fractions and write the denominator as it is. Now students note that. If the numerator and denominator of a fraction are equal, the fraction is equal to one. For example, two upon two, two is numerator and two is also denominator. Both are equal, so two upon two is equal to one. Similarly, three upon three is equal to one, and so on. And remember that if we do not divide a figure into parts. But keep it whole. It can also be written as one. We know that if the numerator and denominator of a fraction have a common divisor, then the fraction obtained by dividing them by that divisor is equivalent to the given fraction. In fraction two upon two, the common divisor is two. So two numerator is divided by two and denominator also divided by two. Two divided two upon two divided two is equal to one upon one, and one upon one is equal to one. Subtraction of like fractions. When subtracting a fraction from another like fraction, we write the difference between the numerators in the numerator and the common denominator in the denominator. Now see the example: four upon five minus one upon five. Here we make the subtraction of both the fractions. So write the solution: four upon five minus one upon five is equal to. First we write the common denominator. So common denominator is five. So we write five, and the at the numerator, four minus one. So four minus one is equal to three, and denominator is five. So answer is three upon five. Problem set twenty question number one eight first one one upon five plus three upon five see both the fractions denominators are same so for addition first we write the common denominator of both the fractions that is five now add both the numerators one plus Three. One plus three is equal to four. So four upon five is answer. Now the second one, two upon seven plus four upon seven. Now both uh, common denominator of both the fraction is seven. So we write here seven is denominator and numerators are two plus four. So two plus four is equal to six, and seven as a denominator as it is. So answer is six upon seven. Now the third one, seven upon twelve plus two upon twelve. So first we write common denominator as it is twelve, and add both the numerators seven plus two. When seven plus two nine, so nine upon twelve is 
आंसर और फोर्थ वन टू अपॉन नाइन प्लस सेवन अपॉन नाइन इज इक्वल टू नाइन इज द कॉमन डिनोमिनेटर सो वी आर राइट नाइन एंड टू प्लस सेवन टू प्लस सेवन नाइन सो नाइन अपॉन नाइन स्टूडेंट्स एज वी ऑलरेडी लर्न दैट द इफ द न्यूमरेटर एंड डिनोमिनेटर ऑफ ए फ्रैक्शन आर इक्वल द फ्रैक्शन इज इक्वल टू वन हियर न्यूमरेटर एंड डिनोमिनेटर बोथ आर सेम सो नाइन अपॉन नाइन इज इक्वल टू वन फिफ्थ वन थ्री अपॉन फिफ्टीन प्लस फोर अपॉन फिफ्टीन इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टीन इज कॉमन डिनोमिनेटर एंड न्यूमरेटर्स आर थ्री एंड फोर सो थ्री प्लस फोर अपॉन फिफ्टीन इज इक्वल टू थ्री प्लस फोर सेवन सो सेवन अपॉन फिफ्टीन इज आंसर सिक्स वन टू अपॉन सेवन प्लस वन अपॉन सेवन प्लस थ्री अपॉन सेवन देर आर थ्री फ्रैक्शंस and the method of addition is same for three fractions so first we write the common denominator common denominator is 7 so we write here 7 now add all the numerators 2 plus 1 plus 3 is 2 plus 1 plus 3 is 2 plus 1 3 3 plus 3 6 so 6 upon 7 is the answer Seventh one, two upon ten plus four upon ten plus three upon ten. So here common denominator is ten, and numerators are two plus four plus three. Two plus four six. Six plus three nine. So our answer is nine upon ten. Question number two. Mother gave three upon eight of one guava. to mina and 2 upon 8 of the guava to geeta what part of the guava did she give them all together in this question mother gave 3 upon 8 part of the guava to mina and 2 upon 8 part of the guava to geeta and we find total part mother gave them all together so we make the addition of 3 upon 8 plus 2 upon 8 now the solution mother gave guava to mina how much part 3 upon 8 so you write with 3 upon 8 and mother gave guava to geeta how much part 2 upon 8 so you write 2 upon 8 so mother gave them all together how much 3 upon 8 plus 2 upon 8 is equal to 3 plus 2 upon 8 and 3 plus 2 is 5 so 5 upon 8 now the answer is mother gave them all together 5 upon 8 part of the guava question number 3 the girls of standard 5 cleaned 3 upon 4 of a field while the boys cleaned 1 upon 4 What part of the field was cleaned all together? Now in this question, girls cleaned three upon four part of the field, and boys cleaned one upon four part of the field. To find total parts, so we make addition here. Now we write solution. Part of the field cleaned by girls. That is three upon four. So we write here three upon four. And part of the field cleaned by boys. How much? One upon four. So here we write one upon four. Now we find part of the field was cleaned all together. So part of the field cleaned all together. We make the addition of both the fractions. So three upon four plus one upon four. Is equal to four is the common denominator, so we write here four and three plus one, right as a numerator. So three plus one is equal to four, and four is the denominator, so four upon four. And you know when the numerator and denominators are same, that is equal to one. So four upon four is equal to 
one. Now answer. One means whole. So the whole field was cleaned all together. Problem set twenty one. Question number one. Subtract first one five upon seven minus one upon seven. Here we make the subtraction of both the fractions. First first fractions denominator is seven and second one denominator is seven. For subtraction, first we write common denominator as it is. So seven is the common denominator. So we write here seven as it is. Now write the numerators. Five minus one. Five minus one is four. So four upon seven is the answer. Second one, five upon eight minus three upon eight. Common denominator is eight, and numerators are five minus three. So answer is five minus three is equal to two, and two upon eight is the answer. Third one. Seven upon nine minus two upon nine. So common denominator is nine, and numerators are seven minus two. Seven minus two is five. So answer is five upon nine. Fourth one, eight upon eleven minus five upon eleven. See common denominator is eleven. So we write here. Eleven is denominator, and eight minus five is a numerator. Eight minus five is equal to three, so three upon eleven is the answer. Fifth one, nine upon thirteen minus four upon thirteen. Here write common denominator thirteen, and in numerator write nine minus four. Nine minus four is five. Five upon thirteen is the answer. Now the sixth one, seven upon ten minus three upon ten. So here common denominator is ten, and seven is numerator minus three is numerator. Seven minus three, seven minus three is four. So four upon ten is the answer. Question number two, seven upon ten of a wall is to be painted. Ramu has painted four upon ten of it. How much more needs to be painted? In this question, total parts of wall to be painted is given, and the parts painted by Ramu is also given. To find the remaining parts, so we will make subtraction. Now we write the solution of the question. So part of wall to be painted how much seven upon ten. So we write here seven upon ten. And part of wall Ramu has painted. See here Ramu has painted four upon ten. So here we write four upon ten. Now so more part needs to be painted. So here we make the subtraction. So we write seven upon ten. Minus is four upon ten, and how to we do subtract? So seven upon ten minus four upon ten is equal to ten is the common denominator. So you write ten as it is, and seven minus four. Seven minus four is equal to three, and ten is the denominator. So answer is three upon ten. Now answer is three upon ten. More parts of wall needs to be painted. Thank you.